Hello and welcome to a special episode of the Knit and Grace podcast. So if you are watching this when it goes live, you will notice that today is not my usual um, posting day and that is because it is my birthday. So I am filming this the day before my birthday. So on the 18th, hopefully everything goes off without a hitch and I can get this all up in time for you all. Um, but I thought that it would be super fun to put together a little Q&A video um, for you all. And to be completely transparent, I was 100% inspired by Taylor of the Wool Needles Hands podcast. She had a birthday a couple of months ago, and so she did this Q&A based on a tag that was going around YouTube a while back. And I decided that, you know, hey, my birthday's in a couple of months. It would be fun to do this then. Um, and then if you stick around till the end, I have a little bit of um, a giveaway for you. Um, so yeah, so I actually on my channel have done a sort of knit and chat get to know me in the past, but it was more so knitting related and crafting related than it was life related. And so today's questions are just really getting to know me a little bit more as a person outside of just my making. So I'm going to pull up my questions and again, a lot of these questions, if you've seen that video, are going to be the same. Um, <clears throat> Although I have added in a few additional questions um, in here. So I have 45 questions. We'll see how quickly I can uh, just rapid fire get through them because if you are uh, not new here, if you're a returning viewer, you know I can get quite chatty. And I guess with that, I don't think that I introduce myself, but my name is Mia and I am the maker behind Knit and Grace. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I have my phone here with me and I have all the questions here. So the first question is how old are you? So when you are seeing this video, I am a 36 years old. I was born on July 19th, 1987. How tall are you? I am four foot 11 inches. This is very shocking to a lot of people, but yes, I am not even five feet tall. Do you have siblings? I do. I have two siblings. I am the oldest of three um, and I have a sister and a brother. So my sister is the middle child and my brother is the baby of the family. What is your favorite color? I would say my favorite color overall is pink and that's pretty much been my favorite color my whole life. Um, I did have a, a short period there where I was very into purple. My favorite colors to wear are black and gray. Um, I am, you know, sort of native to the New York area and, you know, that's that's what I wear most of the time. Um, my summer wardrobe is a little bit uh, more out there in terms of colors, but I love the neutrals. Um, what was the last movie you went to and what did you think of it? So the last movie that I saw in theaters was... I think it was, it must have been early October 2019. It was the Downton Abbey, the first movie. Um, so very long time ago, pre-pandemic. Um, I liked it. I mean, I don't think that it was anything to write home about in terms of spending $20 on a movie ticket, but um, I really enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed the series. Uh, what did you want to be when you were growing up? So I wanted to be a lawyer and I actually went to college fully intending to be a lawyer. Then I kind of changed my mind in terms of directions. Then the Great Recession happened of 2008. Um, I graduated college in 2009. And um, I'm kind of still working in, well, I'm working within the legal sector. I work at a law firm, but um, I'm in human resources. And previously I was in more of a legal role. Now I'm more of a technology role. So kind of came somewhat full circle, although I have not gone to law school. If you could choose to do anything for an entire day, what would it be? Um, I think it's what I'm doing on this vacation. Um, just laying out on the grass, in the shade, just reading, knitting, and listening to the sounds of nature. Let's see, what is your favorite game or sport to watch and play? So my favorite game or uh, sport to watch is hockey. And so my husband is a huge hockey fan. Um, he's actually a hockey player. And um, 
and he like roughs and does all these things and like is on a roller hockey league and uh, an ice hockey league. Um, love watching hockey both professionally and watching my husband's men's league. In terms of sport to play, um, I'm a runner. So I'm a big runner. That is my sport. Would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? Um, I would say ride a horse. I love horseback riding. Um, I don't do it as much as I did when I was younger, um, and that was because my grandparents lived on a farm um, in the Dominican Republic, so I grew up going there my summers, but I would say ride a horse. Um, I'm not the strongest of a bike rider, so I guess if I had to choose second, it would be car. Um, what would you sing at karaoke night? Or I guess, what is my go-to song? My go-to song is Jolene by Dolly Parton. Uh, what two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most? And so I actually don't listen to the radio in the car. I listen to Spotify. And so my two, well, I always have one channel. And so I usually have like, I do have two channels that I like flip between. There's always either a country channel, so I have like this country love playlist that I love to listen to, and then my second channel or playlist or radio usually depends. Right now, I'm listening to a radio based off Don't You Forget About Me, um, so I'm like reliving all of like the wonderful 80s and early 90s music. It is legit. Which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? Um, well, I don't do any yard work. Um, I definitely do not clean the bathroom. I, I actually hired someone to clean my house because I refuse to clean bathrooms. I just say I wash the dishes. I actually like, um, at the end of the day, cleaning the kitchen, washing the dishes, wiping everything down, and just having the kitchen just be really nice and tidy. Um, how about you? That's, that's an interesting one. I'm not really super opposed to chores, but I do not clean bathrooms. And so that's the next one. If you could hire someone to help you, uh, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? Um, I'd probably say cooking because I already have a housekeeper and my husband loves yard work, so I'd hire someone to do the cooking. Um, just because I am the main chef of the family, my husband cannot cook to save his life, and so it would be nice to not have to cook dinner every single night. Um, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, I think that this is a toss up between two very traditional Dominican meals. So the first one is called Tres Golpes and it's essentially mashed plantain. So like, well, I wouldn't say green bananas because Plantains and green bananas are two different things, um, but it's mashed plantains and then it's served over the top is fried salami, fried eggs, fried cheese, all topped with pickled onions. So good. And it's called Tres Golpes because it's essentially like, it's like three heart attacks on a plate. <laughs> and so that's why that is, has its name. Um, and then other than that, I would say it's, um, uh, I think La Bandera is a very, um, you know, it's a very Hispanic thing. So la bandera is just like you have your rice, your beans, your salad, and then some kind of meat. I'm not a huge meat eater. I do eat some meat. Um, I would have to say that it's my mom's pork shoulder um, that she makes over the holidays. That's really um, the limit in terms of some of my Spanish cooked meats. Um, yeah, because I just, yeah, mm -hmm. that's the, it would be one of those two meals. Um, so have you ever had a nickname and what is it? So Mia is actually a nickname. My full name is Emilia. And so that is German for industrious. It's spelled E-M-I-L-I-A, which is the original Germanic spelling as opposed to A-M-E, which is the anglicized version. Um, and, uh, so yeah, Mia is a nickname. And growing up, actually, and my whole life, actually, still, my family calls me Emily because my grandmother was Amelia, and now I am the reigning Amelia. So growing up, my family called me Emily, and then um, since college, I've been Mia. Um, do you like or dislike surprises? Highly dislike. Do not like surprises. Ask anyone who knows me. 
In the evening, would you rather play a game, visit a relative, watch a movie, or read? Um, I would probably say watch a movie. Um, typically, nighttime for me is kind of like when I have to like turn off my mind. Um, so I like to do like my reading beforehand. Um, and as much as I love my family, being around people just doesn't do it for me. Um, who would you want to be stranded with on a deserted island? Um, you know, this one, I would actually probably say my husband, um, just because we really do entertain each other quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I would do without him. More so, I probably don't think that he would know what to do without me, but I'll bring him along with me. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Too many to count. I used to work in a luxury retail, so yeah, too, too many. If you were a superhero, what superpowers would you have? Oh, I forgot this question was on here. Um, I think I would want to like fly and be like super strong. I think those were the, so essentially I'd be Superman. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be super strong and I'd want to be able to fly. If you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would they be? Um, hmm. Let's see. I would love to share a meal with Oprah. I mean, come on. Um, I would love to share a meal with Jane Austen. Um, who? This is a hard one. Um, I completely forgot to think about this one beforehand. Who else would I want to share a meal with? Um... You know, I'd want to see, share a meal with Julia Roberts. I feel like she's super funny, super down to earth. She's a knitter. I think that would be a good meal. And um, last but not least, uh, I'd probably, I'd probably want to share a meal with the Obamas. So two for one. I would love just to like hang with them, you know? I know. I should have thought about this beforehand, but I think those are four good ones. Um, how many pillows do you sleep with at night? I sleep with three pillows. I have my head pillow, I have my side pillow, and I have my leg pillow. So, three pillows. What is the tallest building you've been to the top of? Probably the Empire State Building. Um, I have also been to the top of the rock. I've also been to the top of the Statue of Liberty before they closed it um, up. So, but the Empire State Building is definitely the tallest I've been in. Um, I do want to eventually get to the top of the New World Trade Center. My mom actually works in the building and she can get us tickets to go up to the observatory and we just haven't made the time to get there yet. 24. Would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? Why trade? Why not have both, right? 25. What is the most daring thing you've ever done? I'm not really, uh, not really a huge daredevil, per se. I don't know. I'm not a rule follower, but I also don't just do crazy things. Although I would, like, I would love to go skydiving. I would totally do that. I haven't, but I would love to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm not a huge daredevil. I wouldn't say that I've really done anything very daring. Are you a clean or messy person? I think this question is not worded correctly because the opposite of clean is dirty. Um, the opposite of messy is tidy. I would say I'm a clean person and depending on whatever is going on in my life and my mental space I'm either tidy or messy but I'm always clean do you love or hate roller coasters I love to hate roller coasters I will go on a roller coaster I will scream my butt off but I will go on a roller coaster what's your favorite movie um I have to be just like every other girl ever and say the princess bride um, close second would be The Shop Around the Corner, which is the original of You Got Mail. Such a great Christmas movie, if you haven't seen it, with Jimmy Stewart, um, and then Notting Hill, of course, whenever I need to cry. I just put it on. Is your half, uh, is your glass half full or half empty? Depends on the day. 
depends on the day and uh, how many people have ticked me off that day. I work in human resources, so let's be honest, by the end of the day, sometimes my patience wears really thin. Um, 30, what is the most interesting thing you can see out of your office window? So my office in my office has no windows, so I can't see anything. My office at home faces like a little wooded area, so that's all I can see. 31, if you could join a past or current music group, what would it be? The Bengals. 32, have you ever been out of the country? Yes, a lot. Um, I actually traveled out of the country twice before my first birthday, so I actually have, um, what's it called? Uh, DHS stamps on my birth certificate because in the US you cannot get a passport until you are one years old. Um, so I've essentially flown out of the country every year of my life until college, oh no, through college, and then since college slowed down a bit, but definitely going back internationally. Um, I have family internationally. I've also lived both in Spain and in Belgium. So lots of out of the country flying going on. What is your favorite book or book series? Um, I love anything Jane Austen. I read Jane Austen every single year. Um, I series of books. I'm trying to think. Oh, I love the All Souls trilogy, A Discovery of Witches. Um, uh, the other two, I forget what they're called. It's uh, Deborah Harkness. Love that series. Really good series. It's um, it's like sci-fi, historical fiction, uh, romance, all in one. Really good. And uh, I think Sundance. I think it was Sundance that did uh, the actual TV version of the series. It was okay. The books are better. Favorite thing to do other than knitting? Um, I just love to craft in general, uh, but when I'm not crafting, I love to bake. Love to bake. My favorite music? Um, I think in terms of my favorite English, uh, actually, yeah, no, no. in terms of my favorite English language music, it's country music um, with everything else in there. I'm a pretty music fluid person. Spanish music, I love to dance a good salsa. Uh, best vacation you have ever taken? Uh, oh boy, I just thought about this and then I forgot. I'd have to say it was the summer of my 15th birthday in the Dominican Republic. Um, that summer, more cousins than usual congregated um, down there. Um, the American contingency went and we stayed with the Dominican contingency. And that was just like, I mean, we talk about that summer all the time. That was a pretty good one. And then other than that, I would say that... My second favorite vacation was a vacation I took with my cousin and one of our college friends down to Florida to go hang out with my other cousin who was in college at the time. Our spring breaks aligned. We went down to Florida, um, stayed at my aunt and uncle's house, and that was the most ridiculous vacation. I will not even tell you the things that we got into because, you know, there was a lot of things that were going on, you know. Uh, we were in college, so there's that. Uh, and <laughs> let's just say that we got in a lot of trouble on that trip. That's probably the most daring thing I've ever done, is stay out all night with my 16-year-old uh, cousin and uh, not show up until like 8 o'clock in the morning because we decided we wanted to watch the sunrise. Uh, do not recommend taking out your minor uh, cousins with you to stay up all night. Also probably illegal. Um, so there's that. Um, 37. Are you introverted or extroverted? I am painfully introverted. And so here's something that people don't realize. Um, being an introvert does not mean you're shy. Being an introvert means that you um, sort of fill up your cup, if you will, by being on your own. So I can be outgoing. So 
extroversion and outgoing are two different things. I can be extremely outgoing. Um, I am extremely introverted and I have to prepare myself to be around people. I have to prepare myself sometimes even to be around my husband who's extremely extroverted and ex he has a loud presence as my therapist says. Um, I even have to prepare myself for these videos because I have to turn myself on. Otherwise, I'm in a corner enjoying my own uh, company, just living my best life. What was the last TV show you binged? Uh, the Diplomat with Carrie Russell on Netflix. Such a good show. I'm so excited to see what, where they go with the second season. And I actually might rewatch the first season. It was really good. Um, which is your favorite meal? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Breakfast. I could eat breakfast all day, every day. I love oatmeal. I love eggs. Eggs, oh my god, I eat so many eggs. I'm not a huge meat eater, so I eat a lot of eggs. <laughs> um, yeah, I just love breakfast. Uh, what song always get you gets you on the dance floor? It is a salsa song called La Rebelión. Um, so good. The opening notes of that song, like you just hear it and you're just like, oh, there is my song. I'm going to run out to the dance floor and that's actually exactly what I do every single time it comes on. I think it, they played it at the holiday party this year, this past year, um, and it came on and I was just like, oh, stop everything. Let's go. Yeah. So that is the song that will always get me on the dance floor. Sadly, my husband does not dance salsa. So I'm left to the cousins or random family friends to dance with me or if we're out in a club, you know, we'll go dancing and my husband just stands on the sideline watching me dance with people. Uh, favorite board game, Monopoly. My family plays Monopoly like no other. It is crazy. There have been like fist fights that break out. Like it's crazy. Monopoly. Mm hmm what is the best concert you've ever been to? This is a good one. Britney Spears, her circus tour. Absolutely phenomenal. That show was so good. And at that time, we saw her at the Prudential Center. And I think the Prudential Center was still fairly new. Um, and we were like, up close and personal to the stage. It was such a good show. Such a good show. Um, love me some Britney. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. where am I? 43. How did you meet your significant other? Uh, we met online. Yeah, we met on an, actually not even online, a dating app because we are millennials. We met on Coffee Meets Bagel. We had our first date in Hoboken, New Jersey at Mickey Square, if you know it. Uh, it was bingo night and I won bingo. And I also won a spouse out of that. So three years later we were married and now we will be married five years this fall. What is your favorite memory growing up? Um, my favorite memory growing up is of my grandfather who's now passed um, on Sunday mornings, um, he would, you know, go to this restaurant in Jersey City. It's called the Philippine Bread House, and he would get pan de sal for us to have after church every every single week and then he would you know pack us all in the car and we would <laughs> on our way to church he would drive us the long way around the park and he would say oh so that you don't complain and say that I never take you anywhere and I just like that's just one of my favorite memories of my grandfather it's one of my favorite memories just growing up in general and like he literally used to do this every week without fail and I mean like he used to take us places you know my grandparents had a house in West Palm when we were growing up so we used to go to Disneyland and all this so um but I think that that one is one of my favorite memories growing up it's just of my grandfather and I miss him a lot and so the last question is 45 what is your love language my love language is um what is it uh touch so like whatever it's called like when you like your feelings of touch like you know like physical yes that's what it is it's like physical touch um 
That said, fun fact, I do not like to be touched. So <laughs> I have sensory issues. Um, so I actually don't like to be touched. Um, I have to be touched in very specific ways and only by certain people. But um, physical touch is my love language, believe it or not, even though I don't like to be touched. So that is all I have. I can't believe that I went through that so quickly. Uh, we'll see how it looks once I edit it back. Um, but as a thank you to you all and sort of a fun way of celebrating my birthday, I am going to have a little giveaway for you all. So as um, if you've been following me, you know that I've been working on my Straya cardigan by Andrea Mowry for a while, and I was started working on it as a stash buster. So all of the um, stripes are using up colors in my stash, and I have since finished the cardigan. So if you stick around for the next podcast episode, which will go up in August, you'll get to see that. Um, and I still have so much yarn left so i'm gonna give you all some yarn and so the lucky winner i have it in this little box here you won't get this box but i put it in here just because it was easy the lucky winner will win this little kit of sorts and so you have 50 grams of wooly knit um british wool so this is the four ply uh, in the color cream and then these are all Pearl Soho Linen Quill. This is Stillwater Blue. Uh, this is Kiln Red, um, Lychee Pink, and Turmeric Yellow. So you're gonna win this little bundle. These are 10 grams each, and this is a 50 gram. And this is enough to make the Straya Hat by Andrea Mallory. So I will also be gifting the pattern. So you'll get the pattern as well as the little kit of yarn, if you will, um, as the giveaway prize. So I'm not sure that Andrea Mowry's patterns are off Ravelry. So I think that just the easiest way for me to gift a pattern is actually through Ravelry. So you, in order to win this, you will have to have a Ravelry account that I can send you the pattern to. And then um, I will leave this one open for the international community. So um, hopefully to ship, ship this little bit of yarn, it shouldn't be too, too expensive. Um, so what do you have to do to win the giveaway? Pretty simple. Just um, go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And then in the comments down below, let me know what is one knitting technique that you would never, ever undertake. Okay? So what is a knitting technique that you would never undertake? So never would I ever, kind of, you know, a play on never have I ever, never would I ever knitting edition okay so just let me know that and then be subscribed to the channel and you will be entered to win the giveaway again you do need to have Ravelry um, do not provide me your information in the comments so the way that I will announce the winner is I will announce the winner in my August podcast episode so that's going to be the first Sunday of August which I believe is the sixth um, I will announce the winner and I will get in touch with, uh, I will announce the winner and then you will get in touch with me so that we can arrange shipping the package and getting you the information. So I will not be reaching out to you, asking you for anything, asking you for money, asking you for contact details, nothing like that. I will announce the winner on August 6th and you will reach out to me. So the giveaway is open from when this video goes live today until August 5th. So the Saturday before the podcast goes live, which is when I um, film my video. So a little bit over two weeks, I will announce the winner in that video and then you will contact me. So again, I will never contact you asking you for any personal information, any money, anything like that. So just be diligent about those things. Whenever you tag a giveaway on Instagram or on YouTube, you know, of course the bots come out. 
So I hope that you enjoyed this rapid fire video, getting to know me a little bit more. I'll also link the getting to know me uh, knitting edition video in the description box. So you can take a look at that one if you're interested. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.